Ika tali to visit ah. Oh, hala ko. I'm so glad I got this from Fairy Loot. It's one of my favorite things. Hello, hey, hi. Welcome back to my library, or welcome if you're new. I'm Kate, and in this video, I'm going to attempt to do a reading vlog. chaotic mess that is this reading vlog. So for this reading vlog I'm going to read two books. The first one is The Hate You Give by Angie Thompson and the second one is My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. So these two babies um, I'm going to read. I'm going to annotate The Hate You Give. Um, this is actually for school um, so that I will be actually able to write in it and everything. And then this one I am going to listen to audibly, um, uh, because this is going to be my everyday kind of in between everything and why I'm doing house chores and all that kind of stuff book. And then this one is going to be my annotating actively reading book. So these are my two annotation pouch check. So this annotation, this pouch is just from the Happy Planner and I didn't know what to do with it because it's still pain me. Um, but it's perfect for annotation. So I've got two types of post-it notes. I have purple and I have like the um, yellow. And then I have the mini ones. I like variants. Uh, and then I've got flags. These are clear, well not clear, but like opaque. Uh, and then I have my pen. And this is just an art line drawing system 0.2 pen. So we have a Zut. I don't know why I became German right then. Um, and I have my Apple headphones to help with the audible part or the audio part. Um, so both of them I have on um, audible um, so that I can... Um, listen to them as well if I want to so I might actually do that for both but anyway and then I have my fairy loot um book sleeve which is also a really great baggie too but anyway um so I have both on audible um each one is for a different purpose but I'm super excited to get started and I hope you enjoy this reading vlog it is going to be a little bit of a chaotic week one um and i'll probably film other videos in between so you're at the moment it's like three or four o'clock in the afternoon not 100 percent sure um and yeah i'm gonna go downstairs as the puppy has stopped barking now oh, or i might stay up here because he stopped i'm not sure um and i might start reading these babies okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of tidying. I was going to listen to my audiobook, but I realized I can't do that while filming. And I also kind of just want to listen to Olivia Reed's Alate's uh, latest reading blog. Um, I find them really inspirational and they get me in the mood for reading. So let's do that. Um, one puppy's on the lounge. Well, he's not a puppy, he's two, but he's still a puppy. Um, one puppy's on the lounge uh, chewing his toy. The other one's in his crate. I gave him a dental stick. I probably shouldn't because, you know, he's a puppy. Uh, but it shuts him up. So that's what we need. And I need to not, like, scream at him because it's, like, was it day four? It's next level. I, I literally went to sleep last night and dreamt of him uh, crying. So... <laughs> Anyway, I need to get this house tidy uh, and then I'm going to settle down and read for the rest of the day. So let's get this house tidy first. Anyway, let's do this. <laughs>
so a little bit of an update for you i have not read a single word or listened to a word uh today so far um i did plan to do well i did plan to have a nap um and instead of napping i got up and cleaned the kitchen and sliced my finger open so that was smart of me um to the point where I thought about going to the hospital and getting it glued and then I thought, nah, I can't be bothered. Uh, so I just um, benched it up as best I could and let's hope it stays stuck together. But anyway, it's like a big V cut out of it. Um, it's when I pulled the toaster like that and I just sliced my finger. So my hands were so cold. So anyway, um, I'm currently in bed. I'm freshly laundered. I've had a shower. Still embracing that mess of a hair that's going on here. Who knows? Um, I am going to put on some relaxing piano jazz music. Um, I'll leave the link down below if you want to listen to some music while reading. I have my um, book sleeve here. Well, book pocket? I don't know what you want to call it because it's got a zipper on it. So it's not exactly a book sleeve, but it is at the same time. Anyway, I am going to um start reading one of them i'm not sure which one um i feel like with the hate you give i need to be fully awake um because i need to annotate it for school but i could also set up the annotations uh before doing that so i might do that and then i will maybe read one of the other books so yeah thought i'd bring you along why i do that Let's do this. I really need to find a different catchphrase instead of let's do this. Onwards! That'll do.
Um, it is a chaotic afternoon. I'm finally settling down to read. Um, I'm going to read The Hate You Give. Um, and I'm going to annotate. I have all of my annotating things in here. So I've got... Really, puppy? Um, I'm down here with the dogs. Just, well, the puppy, really. Anyway, I'm putting my highlighters in my cup holder here. Um, I have post-it notes. I have little flags. I've got my pen. I've got a whining dog. It's great. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start reading and listening to The Hate You Give and I'm going to start annotating uh, in time for next week for school. So, onwards to reading.
morning. The dogs, Malpo and the puppy Odin, are now playing. It's Thursday. I did get to sleep last night. Um, my partner day stayed downstairs with the puppy, so that was nice. But now he's probably going to go into work. <sighs> Poor guy. Um, struggling a bit this morning. Um, puppy is uh, really got a buck on him, and when. Um, he is essentially left alone with no humans. He likes to vocalize his um, his hatred of said aloneness, even though he has Poe. So, struggling a bit at the moment. Um, my partner's obviously just woken up. I'm having a morning coffee, as you saw. I'm watching um, Katie Colson's uh, birthday reading vlog. Which is amazing. She has so good, so much good energy. So, yeah, I'll check in when I start reading. Good morning. It is now Thursday. I couldn't work out this morning what actual date it was. Um, but I've been out this morning and went and did some quick pickups for some things. So, we got some puppy pads for Odin since he um, is toilet training. Um, we got some dental chews because the vet said they're fine so we got some of those because he's a massive chewer and i just nearly saw my next door neighbor nearly hit my partner's car at the front that's great uh we got some mail i'll leave a clip here for you po where uh... it's a puzzle Lots of puzzles. Well, that one's nice too. What's that one? Oh, it's an older one. Is it old? That's no. an old one. It's only no? a couple of years old. Or it just looks old. Yeah, it just looks old. Oh, just looks old. Show us the other one again. Ooh, pretty. Star Wars books. What do you think, you two? Do you like the Star Wars books? Yeah? I've got three castles. Do I open them now? Or do I wait? I know what that one is. Yeah, what's that one? I think it's my Star Wars book. It's your book? And then my book, and then this might be my paint by numbers? Yes. Okay. We might open them. Oh, that did not work. That gave me back lighting, but not front lighting. <laughs> Okie dokie! Mm. So many notifications. Where is the skizzers? The skizzers! Hello, you two. Where did you dad put the scissors? Mm. Ooh, that's my one. Not getting it till later and then this should be my paint by numbers <laughs> really you gave me this gigantic box for this little thing really oh my god Amazon it is paint by numbers, but it is Hogwarts with Van Gogh. I'm so excited. It's going to be good for my, with my audio book. And in mail, I got an adult paint by numbers. So I've seen lots of people do this. I'm really excited to give this a go because I think this would be um, good for my mental health because I've been really struggling lately. So... If you didn't know already, I suffer with 
um, bipolar disorder, so depression, uh, as well as anxiety. It all mixes in together. I also don't sleep well, so, you know, what's, what's better than a person with really bad mental health than, you know, not being able to sleep properly, so, yeah. Um, so I'm trying to find hobbies that take me away from the computer and take me away from essentially chaos, like um, loud noises and that kind of stuff because loud noises can set me off. Um, like yesterday, we won't go into yesterday. I had a full, nearly had a full breakdown yesterday. That's why there wasn't many clips of yesterday. But anyway, um, I'm going to do paid by numbers and I'm going to listen to my audiobooks why I do it. Uh, first, I'm just going through and pre looking at some of the footage that I have and some of the ideas that I've got um, running through. Um, I don't like a lot of them, but you know. Um, today is fueled by vanilla Coke. And I also got a gummy pizza from Kmart, which I love. Um, my partner does have to go to work today. He originally didn't have to, but he has to now. Um, and I also got some donuts, so I'm excited to show you them. Um, I do have a massive book pile of unopened books stacking up in the corner that I'm actually going to um, do a haul for at the end of the month. So... It's kind of like a test of patience of how long I can leave these books unopened in a corner. So I'm really like stretching my ability to um, to open boxes and just wait. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I am going to go and figure out what I'm doing next. Opened it. Let's have a look. It says all colors are pre-mixed. Simply dip paintbrushes into a paint spot, then find the matching spot on the canvas. Tiny spaces for delicate places. Please refer to diagram sheet to fill in the blah blah blah. When changing colors, obviously use water. Start with lighter colors first because darker colors can cover light colors if you make mistakes. Oh right. <laughs> Oh, it's a nice canvas. That is a lot of numbers. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, no. Look at all the numbers. Golly gosh. This is going to be hectic. Um, I have a heap of paints. Ooh, paint colours. It's a nice tone, and that's what it's meant to look like in the end. So it should be nice, but uh oh.
thought I'd do a quick reading update. Well, listening and reading. Um, I am nearly finished chapter nine, which is page. I haven't made my bookmark yet. Page 116. No. What chapter? Yes. 116. So I'm on page 116. Um, I'm not halfway through. Halfway through is... Don't spoil. 290. So getting close to halfway through. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, I've read... I've obviously read Tessa Bailey books before and she's one of my fav new favourite authors. Um, something that surprised me about this that I didn't think that I would enjoy is very obvious and it's on the colour cover and it's my killer vacations. The idea of there's a murder mystery actually going on, okay? And she's involved in the murder mystery. So her name's Tyler. The guy's name's Miles. Miles is a private investigator and he's investi investigating what happened. And the murder investigation is like the main plot. And then the subplot is like her figuring out actually what she wants in a partner but also what she wants like in the bedroom um so he is a divorcee he's like nine years older than or something like that she's he's older he's been married before anyway he's helping her uh figure out things both in the investigation wise but also what she wants in a person and all i can say is at the end of the 290 pages if they are not together I'm going to be pissed. Just just saying it straight now. If they're not together, I'm going to be pissed. Simple as that. Um, I'm eating my donuts, which are Donut Bros. Um, they are gluten and vegan ones. Perfection. Um, I'm not gluten intolerant. I'm just dairy intolerant. So um, by dairy intolerant, I mean I'm actually allergic to dairy. <laughs> but I like to pretend that I can still eat it. Anyway, I'm eating these. They're very crispy and just perfection. I am going to have a go at editing one of these videos and maybe have it out for the weekend. Um, the puppies are extremely quiet today. It's kind of freaking me out. I'm hoping that all the barking and everything is out of their system and I don't ever have to hear that barking again so I don't have a mental breakdown. Just putting that out there. Anyway, I'm going to put the headphones back on. I'm going to listen to the audiobook. The only thing about these headphones, they are the Bose something. I don't know. I'll leave them linked down below. They're really good. They're noise cancelling, so they're really great for when I'm having sensory overload. Um, and the sound quality is amazing. Uh, the only problem is you can't wear nice earrings. So I had to take out my beautiful poison apple earrings, which are these guys are just gorgeous which i'll also leave linked down below they're from fox and cactus i special ordered them well i special ordered them i put my name on a waiting list for them because so many people buy them um but anyway i am rambling i'm gonna go back to drinking my tea eating my donuts and probably listen to my audiobook but yes i may do some journaling actually um i haven't set up my spread for this week even though this week's nearly over i might just skip this week and do for next week but um, or my back plan. Who knows? Who knows what this wild ride might take me down. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put headphones back on and I'm going to be productive. Uh, bye. Redoing my shelves. Um, sorry, the puppies are playing. Um, I'm watching Olivia and um, Mel's reading sprints and I'm using that to actually listen to my book and also have a break. It's one of the things that I really like um, to do when I'm doing these sorts of activities just so I don't fully wear myself out but also so I can get some reading done. Otherwise, I don't. Anyway, I've pulled out all the books that I haven't read. So we've got these hardcovers and then we have this cart which is all doubled up. 
if you can see, yeah. it's fully doubled. Um, but it does mean that I have too many books <coughs> for my TBR car. So I do also have this shelf here. So what I was thinking, I've currently got, oi, I've currently got my journals on it. I'm going to move the journals to the one in the corner there and then put my, maybe my hard covers of the ones I really want to read or the ones I want to read next or make it like an overflow. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but some sections of my shelves are looking very sparse, especially the romance section just here is looking very sparse. Um, here, not so bad. Down the bottom, obviously read them all. We've got some gaps. Here we've got some gaps. Here we've hardly got any gaps. Only two missing. A lot missing there. But yeah, not so bad. Mainly like these pretty shelves is where all the books are. But yeah. I'm going to try and figure out how to organise this. Okay. TBR cart. Well, shelf one with all my hardbacks. And then this is the second one with all the paperbacks. It is double stacked on the bottom. The middle still got room and the top still has room. So that's awesome. I have heaps of room for my books. And now I just have to sort out these shelves. Speaking of more books though, that stack there is waiting to be hauled. So we'll see what happens. And the poppies are still plain. Hello, so quick update. I have just finished reading My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. Um, it took me about four hours at double time speed, so it was pretty quick. Uh, it's only in a, like a 250 or something page book. <sighs> Sorry. Um, I love the ending. The murder mystery aspect wasn't as great as it I think it could have been. Um, but in terms of like overall enjoyment and the narrative, that kind of thing, uh, I gave it a four out of five uh, as my first impression overall. The two voice actors, there was a male and a female voice actor, one for Taylor and one for Miles. Um, that was amazing. I absolutely loved the mixed narrative. It gave me, I don't know, it gave me a lot more perspective into the characters and it also helped me um, picture them in my head a lot more, which was really good. I loved the ending. Um, no spoilers, but I'm very happy with how it ended. Um, this is my third Tessa Bailey book and I'm definitely going to pick up the next one soon. Anyway, I'm going to go back to fixing up these shelves. Um, it's a little bit of a schmozzle, but that's just what it's going to be, I think. Anyway. Hi guys. So, uh, a little bit of an update. I finished uh, my killer vacation earlier. Um, I've just gone out and came back and got my nails done with my friend. If it wants to focus. Hello. There we go. I do have a bit of tape on that finger. Um, what's it called? Stary strip tape. Uh, I've just taped it up so I can go have a shower and wash my hair because it's really oily. But um, yes. Um, I haven't read any more as yet. I am currently editing a video to go up um, hopefully tomorrow, depending on how I go. I'm not even halfway through it. I'm only eight minutes in of 27 minutes. Um, so yay. Um, but I think I'm going to go have a shower, wash my hair. Uh, my partner will be home soon and we will have dinner. I've got to feed the puppies. Um, and then I might settle in and either edit or read some more. So they're my two things that I think I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a full view of the shelves um, in the morning when the light is out. Um, and yeah, but yeah, I'm going to go and do that and I'll check in with you later. Bye. Hi. So... It is now Saturday. I have not read any more. Um, I did do some um, schoolwork finally um, and uploaded a video to go out um, this afternoon. 
so that is very good uh, I'm just going to give you a quick view of my shelves that are all done now. So okay, so first off, we have beautiful hardcovers all on this one. And I've moved my Sarah J Mass up a bit more. And then we've got some other large prints down there in my graphic novels. On this side, we've got some more hardcovers. And then we go into fantasy, more fantasy. We've got my contemporary romance and romance then we have um, kind of paranormal or urban fantasy and then we have junior fantasy or YA fantasy more YA fantasy and then we have all the classics here now I have put some of my TBR back in but these are all the books that I really want to read soon and then on top are the books that I need to haul soon Okay, so because it is Saturday and I do need to get more ready for school for Monday, I'm going to wrap up the blog here. So for this reading blog, I end up reading three chapters of The Hate You Give and I started, read and completed My Killer Vacation by Tessa Bailey. Um, I hope this vlog has been too boring. I'm going to figure that out when I get to the editing stage. Um, but yeah. Hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you next time in another one of my videos. Bye!